Google is not Ram, right? Uh, maybe Google. Setu search. means bridge. Ram means. Oh, it's the bridge you were talking about. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. Okay. This is which which one? You? He's he, he, the, the the bridge in the story that we oh, saw. Oh. Okay. He, he found facts of the story happening. But this is like passes over the shallow waters. Well, yeah, of the but Indian in the ocean. movie. He, he it sent back images of a chain of largely submerged objects running between Sri Lanka and India. Oh. Looks like a string of pearls between two islands. It looks to me like a real? rocky jetty, wow. but this thing looks pretty big. On closer analysis of the satellite image, investigators calculate the line of rocks is over 30 miles long. What makes the image especially intriguing is that the rocks are in an area of sea mentioned in an ancient Hindu poem. A poem which also refers to a magic bridge. There are Hindu legends that the god Rama placed a bridge here connecting India to Sri Lanka. The stones in the satellite image are sitting on something oceanographers call a shoal or sandbar. These occur in an area where there's shallow waters and sand could accumulate between the two land masses. The sandbar may be natural, but what's sitting on top of it is not. This isn't just a simple sandbar. There's objects in here that haven't been eroded away. There are stones that have been brought from afar and set on top of our sandbar island chain. How these stones got here is a mystery. And when a team of geologists date the stones, the mystery deepens. The rocks on top of the sand actually predate the sand. So there's more oh. to the story. Scientific analysis reveals the rocks are 7,000 years old, but are sitting on top of sand that is only 4,000 years old. These results suggest the structure in the satellite image isn't natural, but built by humans. Some scholars believe the ancient texts refer to a time 5,000 years ago. At this point in history, building such a long bridge would have been a superhuman achievement. Oh, okay. Interesting. So when Ram was going for the ship for to get Sita, mm -hmm. so he was not able to cross the ocean. So, so Hanuman went because Hanuman is superhuman; he can fly. Mm -hmm. So, but mm -hmm. all the army he was not able to go. So there was an army of monkeys and the Vanar Sena, which he called. They were not able to go. So, what they they did? They put the name he. The, what Ram said? They put the name Ram on the stone. And they put it in the sea, so it was floating. That's how they crossed the ocean. But now it's not floating. Now it's not floating. Now yeah, it's you not have floating. to you have yeah. And that's a little bit eroded, you know. So it's like the sand is four thousand years, and that stones yeah, are seven thousand. So they bought it from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. they, they don't like the somebody put it. So it symbolizes the Ram Setu. Setu means bridge. Okay, <laughs> This too much, like too much history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Evidence, maybe. Yeah, and evidence also. Like, it's not like it's just mythology because people say mythology, mythology. Be like, it's there it's is no proof. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Just...